Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come on, be a story maker. Story maker. Midnight. Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Welcome, one and all. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro at your service. <laughs> oh, Milton, <laughs> what have you been eating? Nothing. Are you feeling unwell? No, why? It's just that you've got green, green lips. lips. Green lips? <laughs> oh, goodness me, how embarrassing. <laughs> I've got green lips. <laughs> I've been painting. I've been painting like this by blowing through a straw and making bubble prints. Oh, <gasps> oh look at that. Oh. Wow. Look, little bubble mountain. Take the papyrus, lay it on top, and voila. Oh, um, and it's beautiful. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. Mm. But, but, Milton, how did you get green lips? Ah, uh, I forgot something. What? <laughs> you have to remember to blow and not to suck like I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind. They're beautiful paintings. <laughs> yes, and we could use that paint pot to put Ooh, in the story yes. machine. Splendid mm. idea. <laughs> in it goes. <laughs> Now, I expect you know what to do to get the story machine working. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. <gasps> it's a playbook. Foot painting. This morning, the children are going to do some painting. Emma, the play leader, is rolling out huge sheets of paper. She cuts... and sticks the paper to the floor. Here are the children. What sort of painting are we going to do, they wonder. Emma takes a bright red bottle of paint and squeezes it into the purple tray. Next, she takes some blue paint. Mm, this is getting very interesting. Emma quickly prepares all the paint. Then suddenly, Emma takes off her socks and steps into the bright red paint. Uh, say all the children. Then Emma walks on the paper. Her feet leave bright red footprints. All the children take off their socks and shoes. They wiggle their toes. They are all very excited. All that is apart from Alex. He's got new socks on today and he doesn't really want to take them off. Perhaps Alex won't want to do any painting. Now, who's going to go first? Catherine and Aidan step into the paint. It feels cool and slimy and squidgy and squidgy. They step out onto the paper. Rebecca and Renee are next. They giggle. 
The paint is tickling their feet. Off they go. Rene leaves bright green footprints. Eight brightly colored feet. Everybody wants to have a go at foot painting. The picture is building. Alex is last and he just can't resist. He jumps up and runs to the paint trays. Alex steps into the bright green paint. The children all know his secret. But what's that on his feet? Oh, Alex! It really looked all nice and squishy. Oh, it did. Mm. I wonder which colour felt the best. Green like me. Mm, green feels sort of fresh, like this leaf. Let's put this leaf in the story machine. Come on. <laughs> and it goes. Help us make a happy, colourful story. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. Oh, it's a sniff and wag story. Sliding down rainbows. Sniff and Wag are friends. When the ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. One night, while they're in the flower garden, Sniff finds a golden bone. Look at this, Wag, he barks. I wonder where it's come from. An enormous sunflower stands close by. It's so tall it seems to disappear into the sky. Why don't we climb up and see where it goes, barks Wag. You never know, we might find some more golden bones. Higher and higher. And higher they climb, leaving the park far behind. When they reach the top, the sky is aglow with a glorious shimmering rainbow. Hello, says a voice. I'm glad you could come. I'm Rainbow Dog. Did you find my bone? Yes, says Wag. Sniff throws it back. Hum. Thank you. Now, jump off the sunflower into the sky. Don't worry. You won't fall, you'll fly! Sniff and Wag float into the sky. And sure enough, they can fly! Look, says Wag, I'm a furry bird and Sniff's a barking bat. They soar and swoop and loop the loop, then race to a rainbow and back. Come on! barks Rainbow Dog. I'll show you around. This rainbow's great for sliding down. Sliding down rainbows makes you giggle because it tickles your tummy. At the end of every rainbow is a pot of golden bones and they taste really yummy. <laughs> the three dogs slide and giggle with delight. The colours make them feel all warm inside. <gasps> hey, yaps well. I found a pot of golden bones. Would you like to take some home? As a special treat, says Rainbow Dog. They're very sweet and chocolatey. <gasps> yes, please, the two dogs bark. Sniff and Wag slide down the other side of the rainbow all the way home. Sniff gets the giggles because it tickles and nearly drops one of his golden bones. Good night. Sleep tight, my old friends. Tomorrow, we will play again. Mm, that's better all clean again. <laughs> Milton, do you have a favourite colour? I certainly do. On Mondays it's red, on Tuesdays it's orange, on Wednesdays it's yellow, on Thursdays it's green. Slow down, slow down. Oh, sorry, of course. On Fridays it's blue, on Saturdays it's indigo. Indy what? Uh, indigo, uh, that sort of dark blue. And on Sundays it's violet. Uh, is that a sort of purpley colour? <laughs> sure is, my petal. Oh. Ah, a bit like this flower. <gasps> Oh, it's beautiful. So, all your favourite colours are a bit like this. Ta-da! 
a rainbow with all my favourite colours. But Milton, I asked you for one favourite colour. Yes, one for each day of the week. Oh, well, can we use your um, violet flower to make a story? Why, of course. Hmm. Ready with your secret ingredient? Yes. Imagine imagine imagine, 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 imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. Blue cow and the unicorn. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was thinking about rainbows. I wonder what's at the end of the rainbow. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to Rainbow, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a rainbow. There was the biggest, curviest rainbow she'd ever seen. It was so big and curvy, it seemed to disappear beyond the horizon. I wonder what's at the other end of the rainbow. I'll show you said a voice. In front of her stood a beautiful white horse with a horn in the middle of its head. What a beautiful horse you are! A horse? I, my dear blue cow, I'm a unicorn. I'm on my back and I'll take you to the rainbow's end. The unicorn leapt off the ground and flew through the sky at tremendous speed. Moo! cried blue cow. Could you slow down a little? Certainly, dear thing. And the unicorn flew in and out of the rainbow's different colours. They rushed through the red, poured through the purple, bounded through the blue, until, with a last swoop, they arrived at the rainbow's end. The rainbow had become a waterfall of red, yellow, pink, blue, orange, purple and green, which tumbled into a lake of wonderful mixed-up colours. Blue Cow had never seen anything like it. I often come here when I'm feeling off colour, said the unicorn. One quick swim and I'm as right as rain. And he dived into the water. Blue Cow jumped in after him. Woohoo! Oh, I'm not a blue cow anymore. I'm a rainbow cow, she laughed as she floated happy as a cow in a rainbow lake. Ooh, colour magic. Yeah, All the colours spin into one colour. Magic. Wondrous! Well done, Jackson! Mm. <gasps> Milton, look! It's time! The children will be soon! The dawn is upon us, the morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you story goodbye. Makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Stories oh, are fun. Bye, story makers! Mm. See you again soon.